Okay, so I guess this is going to be part two of my little diatribe here. My monologue of trying to understand what the hell is going on in my life. And I still have a conniption fit, so I'm trying to deal and cope with stuff, and stuff because I'm not doing so well myself these days. I'm really not. I really wish I was. Every time I keep going back and doing a time warp on this, I'm driving myself nuts. It's about 5 before 1 o'clock in the morning, West Coast time. It's the 4th of October, 2024. Uh, we're in a Halloween season right here. We're supposed to be spooked out. We're supposed to be this. But nostalgia is kicking my ass on this one. Nostalgia is kicking my ass. Uh, I'll probably say this one over to him anyway. I was talking about to a friend of mine regarding my things I remembered, things I'd gone through, and things that I initially did during Halloween. Besides the trick-or-treating and making costumes, and yeah, I made costumes out of duct tape and, and cardboard. Not to mention an old, old sign. An old warning sign, those hexagon signs. I made a shield. I made a shield. Somebody else would probably would make a, a sword, and I'd probably borrow that thing, but I made a shield. With a laser blaster on it. And I remember working at different places that was fun to work at because I was in a valley that I was home, but. Right after my brother passed away in 2018, I was kicking my ass on this one because I missed him like crazy. It's like missing part of the valley. Uh, another connection to the valley, gone. I'd seen places dis 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 disappear. So looking at Universal Studios today, compare, well, today's changed a hell of a lot more than what 10 years ago was like, or even 30 to 40 years ago. God, I'm getting old. I'm trying to hold on to the memories. That's why I keep doing these letters left and right, all these videos. Because I just wanted to try to relive days that I feel like I'm getting older and older and I can't even deal with life anymore, except on those terms. I'm getting myself kicked on the ass on this one because I'm still having issues regarding what I used to work at and live and exist in and it's just not happening for me these days. A place called San Fernando Valley. I'd look at different places that I lived in, gone shopping with had experiences with. I'm feeling so damn old right now, it's not even funny. I wish it wasn't. I just don't know how the hell to have to deal with it. So I'm p going back in time on the uh, Google Earth Pro. I'm going back to 1992, December. I'm looking at Universal Studios in the black and white format. I'd seen how much of it has changed. And I'm feeling so damn old and sick to my stomach on it. Because there was a lot of things I liked about the place that are no longer there. And I hurt like hell. Because I wanted to be part of something special there. And watching all this stuff walking from place to place to place like I used to. Seeing some of the shows. I can only get 
big images of the black and white. Some color tries to blend in, if any, but not much. I was talking to a friend of mine concerning about going to Factory of Nightmares that was on Devonshire and Zelza a long time ago. CSUN had the campus and the area used to be an area where we actually had Devonshire Downs. We'd see concerts, we'd go to concerts, we would have fun with the concerts. But when they started changing the neighborhoods around, man, that really got to me. That really got to me. 94 kicked in with the quake and really shook areas out that made me feel sad as hell. Because I felt like I wasn't part of that neighborhood anymore. It made me sick to my stomach. I was trying to talk to a friend of mine. Hopefully I'll send this copy over to him about it. Because I turned the clocks back to 92, 94, actually. 1994. When I'm looking at the area we, we talked about, Devonshire and Zilza. We talked about Devonshire Downs. We're talking about a football field that used to have, well, part of the areas would be contained in a factory, a uh, uh, maze for people to walk through to get scared during this time of year. And July 4th, their stadium that they actually had out there was the viewing grounds for concerts. And I attended a few of them myself, Ricky Nelson. Juice Newton, the Burrito Brothers. I'd seen uh, I was a played Grandpa and Fred Munster on the show, The Munsters. Fred Gwynn. Brad Gwen was the tall one. And I'm trying to remember who played Grandpa. I know I can Google it. But I'm just watching something now. I'm watching an old map. Where it used to be at a stage. That was set up in the area. They would have sections in there for equestrian for horses to be or livestock to be auctioned up when they actually did have fairs going on during that time. In the current timeline that area would have been wiped out and there would be a medical equipment processing place been there for about four years for approximate. It would hurt like hell because I remember seeing old, some of this older stuff. I'm trying to feel like I get okay with this, but I'm not. I'm making myself sick to my stomach because I remember all this stuff happening here. I remember some of the stuff that I used to go shopping at. That I would have fun at different places. I would actually have amusement areas. And they're no longer there because they're all history. We actually had the uh, earthquake happening 94, January of 94. Changed a whole level around that I couldn't deal with. If I changed some of the area, maybe back in 1985, I'm just waiting for the computer to start processing. I could remember what the areas would look like and I'd help myself navigate through the stuff. But as it was, I was basically trying to recapture what I lost a long time ago. Youth. 
I remember there used to be an area along Nordoff. We would have Malibu Grand Prix. Part of the area, they had changed their formats a bit. They had driving. They had an arcade in there. They did have miniature golf at one time. I think they also had swimming over there too. I couldn't look at the pictures sharp enough on the computer because it's still processing and it can't it get can't get it right. But after eighty let's see, eighty five if I get it maybe the right line was. Eighty nine. I could deal with the black and whites. I could deal with that. Norris Ridge Fashion Center. And the railroad. And an old grainy picture that they actually had dated to back to 1989, August of 1989. That would have been the time my family would have been going over to the mall all the time to shop, to hang about. We would have sizzlers in the area that we would eat at. And back then the food was pretty decent. I don't know why they disappeared. I don't know why they disappeared at all. I could try recreating some about the infamous cheese note that they have. But the steaks. Everything else regarding it. The layout of the Northridge Mall has drastically changed even after the 94 quake took it out. Redecorated it. Redecorated the whole area. If only I could show this to my, uh, to the friend of mine. I could only try to describe that in one section that I'm looking at. It may be pale, but if I could try to squeeze in a little bit just to get clarification in the black and white. I could see what used to be Malibu Grand Prix with the driving tracks. One time they had the water, then they had the dri driving tracks over there. But the mall itself, oh, yeah. But here's the other thing that would kick my ass on this one. You guys ever remember driving theaters? Yeah. Driving theaters, guys. Driving theaters. Winnetka. They actually had, let's see, one, two. Three, four, five, six areas. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Winnetka 6, they called it. And an area that transformed into other buildings and a smaller condensed area of movie theaters. But the drive-in theater... I have got to get an image if I could print it up. Can I get a printed image of this? Will the system allow me to get a PDF file on this one that I can actually take a look at it? And wondered what the hell I'm looking at here. Because I'm looking at old home here.
still need to do is get the vampire now, so why the hell we do this shit? Save PDF. That's all I wanted to do was save it under PDF. Because this would be home at one time. Give me a second here, just gotta get this damn thing to work. The older I get, the worse it becomes for me. Because I am reminded... I am reminded of things that I used to do and used to be and try to navigate my way around this area here. This was home. This was the home I, I remembered this was the places that my mother, my brother and I would shop at or hang about at the mall. Well before the 1994 quake did its reconstruction job. You talk about hating a lot of things at the same time, scared to death. When I saw the rest of my valley changed, storefronts gone, malls destroyed, changed forever, I couldn't deal with it. I could not deal with it. And that's what happened. Um trying to go back in an area that I used to enjoy as a kid and seeing how Halloween was for a kid during those days. So I'm trying to get the old campus at Devonshire Downs what used to be Devonshire Downs. What was home? I mean, yeah, I could still go back in there and feel the same feelings and everything else about it, but I'm still kicked in the ass on this because this was home. Where are we at? That's better. Uh, sorry about this going through memory lane. I said before, when you get older, it gets worse and worse. I put the things back in 1994 uh, of all the changes that's happened in the valley during that time that I couldn't even recognize anymore. And how it hurt like hell. How it hurt like hell. Because we didn't even realize how much changes there were going to be in certain areas. And it still kicked my ass. It still kicked my ass. I'm trying to head back into an old neighborhood that had to be reconstructed all over again. My old alma mater of John F. Kennedy High School. What it used to look like. And without all the damn bungalows. Let me see if I can get it. Nineteen eighty five, see if I get a black and white photo of it. Now you're probably asking me, why are you putting yourself through this thing? Sometimes I have to keep asking myself the same question. I 
I think of a thing I need to remember it how it was why it was important I wanted to go through it all just to see if this was really really worth it I graduated out of Kennedy back in 85 June of 85 I can't seem to get a better map of what the place looked like without all the damn bungalows in the parking lots that they had to use for buildings, actually used for classrooms as they were trying to deconstruct other places in it. And it just made me feel oogie that I couldn't remember anything else beyond that. I was talking to my friend on the videos concerning about Universal Studios because somehow during Halloween that's what I thought of. Halloween was Universal Studios Hollywood. But the picture they've got is the aftermath of the 1994 quake when it hit on January 17th. That's when all hell broke loose. That's when everything else got redesigned. Maybe neighborhoods probably nearly stayed the same but Landmarks I knew totally changed. I was trying to talk about my old alma mater of Kennedy High School, John F. Kennedy High School of Granada Hills, California. Administration building also had classrooms, uh, three level on it. Lower level was the administration, then the uppers were doing the classrooms. During those days when you were a kid you kept walking up and down the stairs you get your exercise. But as I'm looking back at it I'm feeling sick to my stomach because I don't know maybe I'm feeling as the older generations have when they were looking at the pictures and they were trying to tell the stories to people about how they lived and why it was important for them to remember this because this is where they came from they came from various backgrounds there were stories to tell their lives to be told and the reason why I do my my channel is the same way only I wish I could share the images If I could find another program to get the images I've got to put them out there, I would. Facebook was the only pain in the ass to deal with, but this was different. I look at the valley and I'm feeling too, too damn old. I'm looking at the valley as it is now bringing me back to the current time instead of what happened back then. And I am so old, I am shaking inside. Not because it's trying to turn cold in this place. But the memories are still kicking my ass. And I wanted to hold on to him as much and as long as I could. And the more I kept trying to do that to myself, I can't go back anymore. Even in the memories. Because it's hurting too damn badly inside. I know some people are probably laughing and joke about things that they've done in the past, yeah. But I see the maps. I've seen places that I used to be in. And I look at Google Earth Pro as I'm using it. They have the go back. Uh, we go into historical archives of the places that used to be. 
I mean, I can go back a few years and it'll still look the same ugly thing. 2019 through now. I can go as far as 1995 and I see the black and white. If I go back as far as 80 or to the beginning of it that they have, it's images suck on this thing. But I'm seeing how I'm seeing my old life back then. When you're a kid, you look through it in your own eyesight, in your own vision, your own perspective as a kid because you're not an adult. You're a kid. 85, I was a teenager crawling out of a high school. 19 years old and didn't know his asthma hot rock. Yet I was told I was going to be doing this and I was going to be doing that. Why? Because that's what my mother kept telling me I was going to do. And I listened to my mother. Only I didn't realize my ass was going to get kicked so far on that one. I didn't realize it back then. I didn't realize I was going to be going through more changes that I could deal with and cope with. I didn't realize I had to grow up, take responsibility. I mean, yeah, taking responsibility as a kid when you're cleaning up messes left and right at home or trying to be a, you know, be a housemaid, be a cook, landscaping. Disaster control? Caregiver? DoorDash? You grew up to learn these things. You grew up to do these things. You're asking yourself, why the hell are you doing this shit in the first place? I didn't have a clue. And if I did... I didn't have a choice in the matter. I didn't. How could I have? I didn't know my ass was hot rock. I started to work uh, going over to Pierce College, which was on the border of Winnetka and Woodland Hills. I remember seeing that landscape. I remember seeing those buildings. I remember it, what it was like that. 89, I could look at the a topographical map of it. Of how things used to be. How I used to go to college at this place. And have it mean something to me. I could look at it and feel like this was home. And I thought it was home for a little bit, but I didn't realize it wasn't home. It was just another school to go to. You get over there, you, you did your time in the classrooms, and if you had your enthusiasm, fine. But if you didn't have your enthusiasm, then what the hell were you doing? My question to myself, what the hell was I doing to myself? I'd look at this place. It's Pierce College. And this was home. This was home. But I didn't realize it at the time. I didn't think of it at the time as that. <sighs> no, this wasn't. I didn't think it was all that important. But it was important to me. 
And that was the thing that kicked my ass half the time anyway. So I look at the stuff. I'm asking myself. Was this okay? This was home. Compare it to now, Pierce College, right after the raid decoration in 94. <sighs> Nostalgia bites when you get older, I'll tell you that much. I can show a lot of old maps and all old pictures to people left and right. I could try to talk them into this stuff. But without perspective, without context, it doesn't mean anything to them because if they hadn't chewed the same dirt, it doesn't matter a damn thing. It just doesn't. And I'm looking at home. I wanted to be home. During this time back in 1989, I couldn't cut it at Pierce. I was there from 85 to 87. And I had to work full time. Made me sick to my stomach, guess that's what we had to do. I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to maneuver through the black and white grainy pictures what other areas looked like that mattered a damn to me maybe it didn't matter for a lot of other people but it sure as hell mattered to me because this was home this was home I lived in an area Woodley and Devonshire. Further away from that place I used to call home. And that was, I mean, I had a lot of places I called home back in those areas. And yeah, it hurt like a bastard. It hurt. I just wish. But even if I could go back in time and see the damn thing, it's not the paradox of time. It's knowing I can't go back and relive. Because the thing is, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to go back in time to relive it. As much as nostalgia kicks me in the ass on this one. I can't do it. Too much pain. Too much pain. Too much loss of what used to be back then compared to now. Things getting wiped out and rebuilt. Things no longer recognizable. That's why I can't stand seeing the San Fernando Valley as much. It used to be home. It used to be home. Now I don't know what the hell home is anymore. Home is where the heart is at, but if there's no heart, then how the hell am I supposed to be able to feel it? Be part of it. How am I supposed to be a part of something that I just can't, I can't deal with anymore? And that it hurts like a bastard. I don't know, you probably think, well, he's thinking pity me, pity me. Yeah, I am thinking pity me, pity me, because right now, that's the only thing I've got right now is the feelings of it. Because back then, it hurt like a bastard. 
and I am trying to get used of a time and a place where things mattered a great deal to me. Landscapes that I thought were all right, and now I got to get used to this crap. There's even one landscape I'm trying to get used to that used to be important for me. All right, this is ABC two zero one eight. No, one eight. Was one eight? Yeah. All righty. Before they started doing their changes on Antelope Valley College, I found an old picture. I found an old picture of the college. Now I can't even stand what the college looks like right now because I don't know what the hell they're doing to it. Anyway, try another one maybe.